audio check okay so uh i accidentally uh hit stop recording instead of unpause recording on part 33 so i've not actually closed the game down or anything since then it's been about 10 minutes i ate my ate my snacks my food i had prepared and came back and sleep fumbled the wrong button so you get this as part 34 uh my apologies uh so if you were waiting in suspense for however long it's been between videos probably you know maybe less than an hour maybe a day depending on how fast i can upload these my internet's being kind of wonky i apologize uh but here we are right where we left off crap it's only been 10 minutes what was i doing right i had slept it is the next day uh, we are now basically going to be heading okay meat consumed we're gonna head back over to where the rest of the meat is uh, actually, it's in the wood. So we're going to tear down more curtains. Or more cloth. Um, and uh, you probably saw last episode, I lost my uh, ear wrap, which is uh, it's a nice thing to have. but it, they're, And they're rare, so I'm a little sad still. But I lost my gloves, my only pair of gloves I was carrying. So I'm now wearing these slightly lower tier gloves, but meh, that'll be okay. But I did think of something else. If you can't find gloves or a hat in the game there is something you can do with just cloth you can find cloth always on any difficulty there's curtains to tear down somewhere you can make these and these are terrible in terms of stats but they cover your hands and your head making them better than nothing uh so that you don't get random frostbite chances at least on voyager you won't on higher difficulties you might um so that's that's just a little tutorial there I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm not going to light the lantern because, honestly, there's, there's just not much to see here for you or for me. This is just grinding out cloth. Uh, so, uh, last episode I repaired some of my clothes, which is a good idea. I'm also just going to carry some of this cloth with me. Ah, I was right, it's curtain. So that if my hat breaks, because it's at 25% and I have no rabbits to repair it with, that I can at least, um, have something. I'll be able to make that head wrap to go along with my scarf, and that'll be better than just the scarf alone. I haven't, I'm just wandering around checking the cloth, basically. I, this is a very well lit spot for no real reason. Interesting. I do like how this place has random glowing objects that kind of let you navigate it. Oh, there's a bed. That extra hour of sleep. That's all I needed. But yeah, so, uh, yeah. These went horribly awry last episode. I kind of made some foolish snap decisions regarding a bear. Um, here we are. Down some precious clothing items. Down in confidence. Back to more caution. Washing first, always. That water bottle I left. Uh, and just kind of take stock again of what I have. A ton of cloth. More cloth than I actually need, even for my, my cautious thinking that I'm doing. And we can leave behind. Somehow, but probably. That. Uh, the cured leather we don't need to carry. Others we might, we might to make an arrow out of things. I hear the wind. It's still kind of nighttime, but we're at full condition, so I don't need to be too afraid. Let's just go out and see how it is. Uh, so I can use. We know the bear that block that would block the way to where I'm going is, is dead. I killed it because I screwed up on my attempt to shoot it and bleed out because I thought it would run away from me, like the previous bear, but it charged me instead. Uh, and for that, uh, I was punished. So let's pull out a worse condition torch, just in case we hear a wolf bark. Actually, the weather's, the wind is really bad. We want to do this, and our sprinting legs, depending. Basically, if there's a wolf between us and my 
its short-term destination, which is just the little cabin, then we'll be concerned. I'm kind of leaning forward, peering. Yeah, that lump over there. It's a dead bear, right? You can get back up. No reanimator bear. Yeah, he's still laying there. Reanimator bear is not a thing, I hope. I've seen some, some crap in this game, though. Some glitches. Some call them features. So it is a little chilly. Does the bear make a snoring noise? Hey. Hey. Okay, he dead. He dead. <laughs> Just uh, have a snack snack here. Alright, and it's, it looks pretty nice. I like this. Um, let's just bolster that, and we'll just take. Now that I look at the stars, they look pretty cheesy, but I like that mist and just make peaks. There we go. So we're already kind of warming back up. But, uh,. To regroup inside for just a little bit. Oh, by the way, it's super dark in here. Okay. So basically, I just want to pass time till the little Melbourne's light come up. See way to do that? Curtains. Curtains, everyone. Okay, so we're almost to the lightning, light, light time. See, this is another reason why I didn't grab a lot of cloth. It's because... I'll get more. Huh. Okay, good enough to see why. No decoys in inventory, so no meat in inventory. We'll go ahead and just fill up that. Leap off into the grand unknown here. It's not really unknown to me. I've been here a few times, but... Goodbye, Mr. Bear. Please stay dead. Not enough for me to go do things and come back through. So, yeah. Shouldn't have been cheeky and tried for the bow. I should have used my strongest skill and damage item, which is the rifle. Somewhere around here, there's going to be some little signs on the side of the road. That marks our turn off to go to uh, Coastal Highway. On the one hand, it's good that there's good weather. Um, good weather leads to bad, and we may be stranded, you know, far from supplies. That's always a possibility in this game, but you'll just get caught by stuff, as I was caught by the bear, my own hubris, last episode. Yeah. Very slight temperature loss these ineffective oh wait can i actually put on that head thing right, right the hat is still intact i was already thinking forward like the hat was was, was gone it's, um yeah and i am curious to see what the update will do i mean the, the update at the end of march I'm concerned that the update will just break the game like the last update when I bought the game. I bought the game and on launch day of the update it was broke it. That profile is a deer. Pretty sure. And bunnies. I could stop here to get bunnies to repair my hat, but honestly I'm not too invested. I have the stuff to make a mother hat at the farmhouse. Um, so I'll probably just make a fresh one. I don't plan on being mauled by any wild animals, but you know me and plans and how that just went, so... Uh, nope. No wait. I need to spend a match yet. 
Now you just follow this kind of road-looking snow path. There's a road under here, but winter in the long dark never ends. Uh, I bear that in mind if you're new to this. People have survived in-game years and just it's always snowy, death-filled Canada. I am playing kind of late into the night. This is probably going to be a half hour episode if I have my way over the RNG. I think just kind of sticking vaguely to the left hand wall. Yeah, it's deer here today, not, not any wolf issues. Which is nice. But yeah, we just go up that a ways, I think. I see this is a marker sign anyway. Uh, and, but yeah, I have. Uh, the other thing is, I, I could... Uh, it's that thing where I could hunt a deer, I could hunt meats, but I have to wait for their furs to cure before I could do any repairs anyway. So, yeah. But the... Uh, if I lose my shoes, I'll be in trouble, basically. So I need to not get into any more wildlife scrapes, if at all possible. So no more cheeky bear assault. New day is dawning. Just staying out of the way. If I absolutely need food, it's perfectly fine to hunt deer. Good. Good value for safety. I do have a revolver, which I'm totally fine wasting ammo on wolves. It's all I use the revolver for is shooting wolves. Basically. I think I have over a hundred revolver shots at home in the farmhouse. And it's very possible to just sprain your, your ankle going just up here. You see the red indicator on the right hand side sometimes, that's what that means. Shoot my brake stuff. Yeah, it's it's so almost out of the way, like if you I hadn't been this way before, you might have turned back by now, I'm like, oh, there's nothing here. Ooh, a lot of the game. Oh, there's that favored yellow again. Already got a good photo, though. Well, maybe. See how it looks from over here. Overlook comes we get past that tree. Oh, actually, this is pretty well framed, don't you think? The brighter screenshots look a little bit better in the thumbnails. I'll take that. But yeah, uh, without those thick wool mittens, I actually kind of have to play temperature management again. You see it ticking down right there again. Barely. Uh, looks like I've kind of been here. I bet I haven't mapped. So go ahead and map. There we are. So that's where we were. Crossroads houses. Here. That's how far we've come. And the community center is right there in that dark patch. Now we just creep in here. Oh, can't quite have to click. All right, quite fit. Okay, I think I many episodes ago made a fire back there. All right, so let's see what we have here. Hey, a cotton scarf. I'll take it. It's actually not quite as good as the red scarf I'm carrying as my backup. Oh, uh, and. I believe coal in this tunnel refreshes. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, we're going to trade out that for that. We're going to do a little additional setup here. So, and oh, I only have one of those. All right, and like so. It's even in the daylight, I can see those, so we'll just. And uh, that'll allow me to scoop all this stuff up, go out there and make a fire if I for some reason need to rewarm in the future. Um, so we'll just carry. But yeah. Uh, it's worst condition. This. This will also be food and hydration. Both meters, I think. I, out of the pre-made foods, condensed milk is probably one of my favorites stat-wise because it does that. Bam. And we have piles, little piles of lantern oil. Um, 
I've been through here once. I believe I found the rifle that was marked as being the community center, but I actually had already taken it home. Uh, we'll just stick to the right hand wall. I don't have this place memorized, so. Deviate. We'll take some coal. Maybe we can fit maybe one more piece, but we're slightly overweighted. Container there. I think I've gone through, looted, etc. Break down torches as well to save on weight here soon. Uh, can I get up from here? It doesn't look like it. So I'm not too worried about searching that one metal crate. But breaking down my ruined torch collection. So they weigh 0.30, but they break down to a stick, which weighs uh, 0 0.10, 0 0.1 is what I should be saying. But uh, the game sticks that zero on there the end, the trailing one, which you should be able to drop mathematically, I just say it's like 0.30. Because that's probably right in the game's notation. Even if it wouldn't fly in my math class. Basically. There, that'll shave down a little weight. As we'll continue to burn oil. I hope I put the lantern away. Making that mistake, I need to look at the bottom right to see that it's there or not. But... One of those little interface things that you just gotta get accustomed to. And yeah, it looks like the coal is double spawning in here, so it's totally fine to abscond with however much coal we need. This is one of those caves where coal respawns, I guess. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so close like that. I am pretty sure, and that way should go, yeah, to the other side of what we just saw. So we need to go here. Yeah, this takes us to a little, yeah, little spot here. Where I think I've gone through everything. Black pry bar, man. Me and not bringing a pry bar. I've done that twice now in this area. So these rishis will go with us. There's some minor spots here, if needed. Uh, I have a ton of cloth. Oh, there's something I missed. A score. Something else I want to do since I'm here. So I have some of this stuff. I'll just do a little bit of it. The future. Because I have all this fuel, so I'll be able to make more water pretty easily. I have my cups of tea and stuff. So, pretty confident. Does that give me a bit of other coal in the inventory? Oop. See the double pull again. Have I turned myself around by making that move? All in the right hand wall and see how it plays. No, this is a different chamber. Okay. In here. Advantage. Ooh, hi. Hi, right the cartridge. We got in here. All right. So we'll trade out. Actually, we'll just leave those. There. Any other medical that I might wish to leave? Not really. Look up. Uh, what I will do in the dark here is I have that. Oh, I've accumulated more rifle bullets than I thought. Go ahead and just load this to full. Caution first, preparation first, always. Um, how am I on time? Ten minutes. Okay, I'll just hold the right hand wall and see where it takes us here. Free stick. A old torch, meaning I'm probably going in the correct direction. Line wood, yeah, there's more fuel in here than I could ever really want. In the late, late game, when there's no looting of the world left to do, it might serve me well to haul coal home from here to the homes, you know? But, for now, either I've accidentally looked back, or this is, no, this is the place, okay. 
shelves again, check under. I miss this stim. Man. I was just not paying attention in the past. Past me is not on top of it. Full stim. Oh, and mints. In case I need those. This will come in handy. Ooh, they're really bad. through again they're decayed it's well now we've reached this side so I'm gonna check a few things still that little little bit of oil so we're gonna get that into the lantern just to get rid of the little bottle in my inventory I thought that didn't bother me I was playing long ago, but it kind of does now that I've played longer. It just makes the interface a little, little bit more clear. Um, where do I go out of the mine? I guess I could go to the dam trailer that's right there. So as before, we're just going to drop not a whole lot in the way of fire making tools, but the book is a good starter. Noticeable. Right, we have four pieces of coal already, so we'll. Oop! I thought I would just drop one, but I guess I have to select. So we'll leave that coal there as well. And that's enough to get us uh, a fire. And, uh. Let's go we'll find it. And we'll just fill up. Um. about where I come out. I'm actually not coming out of the ravines. The dam the trailer by the dam that I prefer the trailer by the tracks is not actually an option. Do I have any of coastal highway maps? No. Alright, well we're gonna pop out a map. Um just to have this entrance marked on the in-game map. Punishment for my Doing some past me. look around. Sometimes there are rose hips right by these. Oh, oh, Rybar just sitting in the snow. Why did I miss that? Okay. Yoink. Okay, so there's. uh... That's the forest cam. Oh, oh I thought it said I hadn't mapped. Okay, I hadn't mapped the interior. With the power of this Rybar. Too much. We looted peace in our houses already. There we go. Foolish. Oh. From here. Oh, oh! I just uh, zoom, zoom on that. So, uh, let's. I don't technically even need to go to an indoor space. I could just plop down the bedroll and conk. But I know where I am. Ish. Oh, why does it do that? I'm out, and I know if I turn left, there's a thing. I guess if I go to the right, there's a thing. It's, it's on our map, so... Let's get to this junction and just keep using up this charcoal, because it's carry weight. Oh, we're not, we're not far enough along. Let's get a little further down. Birch tree? Maybe there'll be a nice, happy birch bark. Yeah, I'm not traveling enough distance. I'm not used to the in-game mapping system at all, honestly. Played to oh that's that's the ticket right there. That's what it's referring me to. Is it? Just this. We'll go stand. 
in this area and map and see what it turns up. Oh, dead thing down below. Okay. It's like something I can loot. No. I'm glad there's a little shelter right here. Okay, so this trailer is halfway point. It has stuff. Not much in the way of any loot marked by it, but I'm feeling the tireds. I think I'm gonna get in this trailer and call it here. Just to be sure, we'll check the line behind. Dang, did I miss stuff, guys. Got a pry bar, though. I'm having to go back for one, so. And there will be lockers in Desolation Points, and maybe here in Coastal Highway, but yeah, we're gonna uh, just clear this real quick. Oh, energy drink. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Alright. It's like every click is like oh, perfect. Why? That's my hatch on condition. Okay. No real reason to trade up. Or to trade down, I should say. Oh, flesh off. That's gold. Fire. Is there a man there? Bits. What am I talking about? I just passed by bits. Chains. Even that. Spots. Double checking all the low angles. Okay, so there wasn't much here. Now we're kind of running low on water, so what I'll do instead of leave behind a T. Matches. That's a fine little find here. Uh, and let's see. Oh, right behind the can. There's no, there's nothing to cook here with. I, I don't know if I'll, that'll be a necessity in the future or not, but I don't need to carry the canned soup, basically. Which I can just crush items that were uh, useless. If I leave it outside, it'll despawn. Is that a thing? Or if I just start forming a trash pile, then I'll know over time. So I don't live that long, etc., etc. Oh. Okay. Need to go to real life, bit, I think. Alright, we made it to Coastal Highway. That's adventures, that'll be well. It's good stuff. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of wander around and loot and not get into big fights with bears, hopefully. Not ones we fights we lose. Uh, you only lose when you die. The long dark. So, actually, I'll quit all the way out this time. Yeah. Oh. Did good. Am alive. Uh, actually, before I go. I do, I have some thing I want to check. Wow, that's fast. I just wanted to crack open the journal and see what day I'm on. Day 80. Oh, man. Yay! 20 more days, guys, then I'll hit 100. Oof, but the clock is already screwing up. So the journal doesn't quite know how to track the math correctly. So we're on day 80, but we probably haven't technically survived 80 hours worth of days left. So it's fun. Um, but I did want to just scroll through the journal and see kind of my stats. Uh, not yet. I spent a month in any location. Coastal Highway only four days. Yeah. Hits. Yep. You can calculate your accuracy very easily here. 
I missed with the distress pistol. Oh, it was probably a moose. I think that was the Ash Canyon moose. My accuracy is actually surprisingly not that great across most things. Uh, rifle 80% is pretty high. One every wolf struggle I've been in. Bear attack survives, bears killed. Ah, oh, bears killed, that's the number. Only one deer this whole time? Where did I get the pelts for the boots? Or did they only take one to craft? They only take... Oh no, they take two. They must have found a pelt in... Um, the summit crates or something. The Tomb of Mountain Summit. Yes. Cans opened. He tracks can openers as a stat. Oh yeah, and if you guys are not interested in these numbers, you can totally like, close the video now. It's fine. Every, every, uh, issue you've had. I've actually... Oh, I never contracted Gavin. Wizard survived. 200. That was a... That one day of interloper was a learning experience. You get an achievement for one day of interloper, and I did it at something that less than 10% of the... Was it closer to 4 or 5% of the game's population is done. There you go. Survive one day on your loper, you're in the top 10% of players. Whee! Achievements. Skills. Still not terribly skilled in the other things except cooking. Done a lot of cooking. Ha. Huh. I'm curious what these other level 5 bonuses are. Uh, but I'm not going to look them up. We're going to get to them or we'll literally die trying. Anyway, that's that. Video actually over. I need, I need to go to bed. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.